I will start with Bender Insurance, but I won't be doing this alone. I will have um, Ayola joining me all the way from Edo. He is part of the media crew of Bender Insurance and one of the fast rising sport journalists when it comes to football in Nigeria. It's good to have you, Ayola. Yeah, good morning once again, and thanks for having me for the opening time. Now, let's go straight to the trending topic for the week, which is our first topic for today. Bender Insurance. We know that it's the only Arsenal Football Club that has been well known for going the season without losing throughout. But something similar will probably be happening if Bender Insurance continues the end of this season this way. That means they've been winning all their games. And the question is going around, can they become Nigerians invisible? Tell us what's working for Bender Insurance that everybody's talking so much about them. Yeah, um, uh, a whole lot is working for Bender Insurance and um, uh, talking about them doing invisible. I, I think, uh, well, uh, we must be sincere with ourselves here. I, I doubt if any club in the world uh, is going to go on that Arsenal run any longer. Uh, 49 games on BT run. Uh, Bender Insurance have only done 12 this season, and even the 12 has not matched up with what we saw uh, Rivers United, Inimba did for 2015, uh, you know, uh, talking about the unbeaten run in the season. And we should also remember that we have a lot of games still uh, lined up. It's just only 12 out of 18 games that we're expected to see. We still have games uh, coming up against the likes of Shooting Stars Club, uh, going away to Bombay United. Uh, still playing against uh, teams like Remo Stars, you know, and all that. So, yeah, uh, I think it's, it, it would be a very good thing for Bender Insurance, for the team at large, for the management, for the players themselves, if they can go uh, invisible. Uh, but then I, I feel the invisibility uh, discussion should be left for the fans, for the Pondy to take a look into it, if it is possible for the Benin Arsenal to do that one. And um, it will not be a bad thing. For me, I feel it is achievable and um, it is doable. But at the same time, if we must be realistic, we should know that uh, football has gone beyond uh, where you can predict that you can, you know, uh, go unbeaten. As at the time when um, Aqua United did their 18 games unbeaten in 2020-21 season, after from March the 11, you know, they were beaten by Katsina United. Katsina United after they've done 18 games unbeaten. So um, it can it can be uh, uh, be dented by anything. It's not about uh, because they played against bigger, bigger boys. They, are, they have lesser boys to play against. And the people are beginning to think that they can go on beating. It is possible. And at the same time, I, I don't think that is what is in the head of the team now. And uh, at times, if you take a look at it very well, if a team goes on, on beating wrong, it is, it, it is more dangerous even for any team to go on beating you know, than for them to be beaten. Because uh, the moment you are beating, you get to quickly work on your lapses to work on where you feel you need to adjust before the key, you know, the key uh, stage of the of the season, which is the super seeds uh, that everybody will be bracing up for momentarily. But if you don't get beaten in the normal league, you think everything is fine and getting to the, you know, uh, super seeds might be dangerous for you. So uh, for me, I think it would be a good one for the team. But at the same time, I think it would be dangerous for them if they are not beaten, you know, at least for once in the regular season. Yes, um, we have Monde Odiga, which is the coach, has won um, the coach of the month twice. Um, he won that turn uh, in January and February. Uh, people are saying he has steered the newcomers, that's um, the Bende Bini Asna, has steered them to a very good level of confidence. How much impact does um, Monde Odiga is having on them, um, on the team? Yeah, um, a whole lot of impact um, the man is having on the team. You know, I told you the last time out when she... Um, she came around to Brendan Insurance the first time they gained promotion in 2018-2019 season. You know, it was a very it was a very difficult one for them that they had to be relegated almost immediately. Not even almost, it was immediately that same season they got relegated. And this same man came back to the team in the 2020-21 season uh, when they went to the Super 8 in Enugu. They couldn't also get it. And he stayed with the team again, meaning he has been with the team for about three to four years now. He understands the team very well. He knows what the problem was at that time and what he needs to work on now, which he's working on. And that seems to be, you know, the, the thing that is working for him. He understands uh, what the problems were and how he was able to solve them. And uh, I think with the players he has got in his team, 
young players, very agile, very strong on the ball, off the ball. They know how to recover their position. If it, if it, you know, they know how to attack. They attack as a team. They defend as a team. So one day they get, you know, his um, his technical know-how as well you know, cannot be underestimated. Um, this man is popularly called the lecturer by some people who know him very well because you know. Of, um, of, of his antecedent and being also uh, one of the coaches who train other coaches in the league. So uh, I feel his influence definitely um, is working on the team. A couple with the fact that he's got some other international recognition as well, um, you know, having uh, a relationship with clubs abroad, you know, going there for uh, for, for 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 timely uh, uh, timely refresher courses, you know, having time to study coaches, you know, in Germany, in France, in Spain and all that. So, Almost everything is working for him, um, and everything is translated to the field of play where the team is having, you know, uh, their good role. So uh, for me, I think that he has got a very huge, you know, uh, uh, influence on the team's success so far. Yeah, no, let's, uh, people say that, um, I'm sure a lot of reports have been, can they replicate that when it comes to Super 6? Because uh, Super 6 is the really um, one that will determine who is going to represent Nigeria in the continent. At what stage do you think um, ben Nations will probably must have achieved that target. Is he when they qualify for the Super 6, which obviously is underway, or when they qualify to represent the country, Nigeria, in the continent? At what stage do you think the Ben Nations will be satisfied with the season? Okay, um, uh, let me uh, be sincere with you now. I think the first stage where they'll be uh, satisfied with, their, um, with, their, with the season performance is first the day they will realize that they can no longer be relegated this season. That is the goal. That is the main you know, our focus for the team. Uh, make sure you go back there and make sure you solidify your place in the MPF. Don't go relegation. Then from next season, you can start picking other things. So the first thing will be for them to escape the relegation. And the second thing, if workable, if possible for them, with six matches left, if they can uh, pick the Super Six ticket, that is also going to be a very huge boost for them that um, just coming back from relegation, they are able to, you know, get the Super Six ticket. And, um, you know, it's, it's going to be an icing on the cake if they make it to the continent. That's going to be, you know, an extra achievement for them. I can tell you that for sure. Uh, that hasn't been, you know, the goal of the team from day one. The goal is to escape relegation because of what they are scared of from what happened the last time they went to relegation. So um, I think the day they will be uh, mathematically or officially certified to remain in the season for next season is going to be their biggest achievement. Then making it to the Super Series, if that happens, then that is going to be another big one for them. But for the continent, I think that's going to be extra, extra package uh, for them. Okay.